Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Cruise Man. Getting ready to head out for a little afternoon ride. And I even made some notes down here because I want to make sure I cover everything that I need to today. Let's straighten up this camera just a little bit. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. Doing a little bit different uh, afternoon motor vlog today. Going to head over to a friend's house uh, for a few minutes to check on something. And it is a pretty nice day today. It's a little cloudy. But about 70, 71 degrees, something like that. Pretty nice. Not too windy. We're supposed to get a little rain later, but uh, not. I don't think it's going to be terrible. Now, as I mentioned before, if you're new to the channel, if you're passionate about motorcycles and you enjoy motorcycle content, uh, I try to provide that uh, with these motor vlogs. Sometimes I deviate, sometimes I get off topic. But usually, most of the content is motorcycle related. And I would appreciate it if you take a second to click that subscribe button, click that little bell notification icon, and uh, YouTube will let you know when I come out with some new videos. And even if you think you have already subscribed to this channel, double check. I got up the other day and I swear I lost over 900 subscribers overnight. It's like YouTube just wiped out a whole group of subscribers. So make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching this video, just take a second check. Make sure it'll tell you if you're subscribed or not uh, to my channel. Anyway, much appreciated. Thank you very much. That was a little bit shocking because I was just getting ready to celebrate a new milestone. And damned if they didn't take away some subscribers. And I did uh, get through to support on uh, Google. And they are checking on it to see what might have happened. But in the meantime, just double check. Well, I guess it is a little windier than I thought it was. Now something you might, I don't know if you'll notice or not, that's a little different about this video. And that is, I am shooting this video in 4K, as opposed to 1080p. I have always shot my videos in 1080p, but today I'm shooting in 4K. I'm still delivering in 1080p. And the reason I'm doing that is because uh, this last few days, I've been doing some testing on a new action camera. One of the things I'll talk about in a minute. And I noticed that my footage on the GoPro was coming out kind of blurry. It was almost like everything was out of focus in 1080p, 30 frames per second. And so I contacted GoPro. I noticed the uh, my Hero 8 over here on the handlebars was fine. It was the video coming out of the Hero 10 on my helmet. And I uh, contacted GoPro, got right through to somebody, believe it or not, in support and uh, through a chat window. And he walked me through a procedure of reinstalling the latest update, doing a factory reset. And it does seem to have addressed the issue, which is good news. Now, as a result of that, it just kind of led me to doing some testing uh, of shooting 4K video, which I never do on the GoPro. I do in my uh, studio all the time. I always shoot 4K, but I would never really use 4K on the GoPro. Number one, it eats up the battery life. And uh, of course, number two, the file sizes are huge. But when I did a test in 4K, I noticed that even when I render out in 1080p, I get much, much cleaner video which is to be expected. It's just much, much better, more clarity. So I've decided I'm gonna go ahead, shoot my videos now in 4K, delivering 1080p like I always have, and uh, 
So let me know if you think you see a difference. Some of you, a lot of you, have watched my video on the pressure washer, uh, the Grand Falls pressure washer that I did recently. And that's been a very popular video, probably because springtime's coming, people want to, you know, be looking for home and garden stuff. And um, I just want to let you know that that, vi that uh, product, I now have a link to my Amazon page. They do sell it through Amazon as well as their own website. And I did now add that link to the description of that video. I will also put a link to that pressure washer on this video description as well. So if you're interested in the, I think they told me that they would be shipping around March 10th out of Amazon. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on it, but that's what I've been told. You know, we got all these supply chain issues, but they did say they were gonna be shipping soon. So, um, that's that. Also, the tire inflators, the uh, X8 Apex tire inflator video has been very popular, so that's very cool. Thank you all for supporting the channel and supporting our vendors. Now, I have a new product I'm going to talk about today uh, that somebody sent me just a few days ago, and I took it with me to breakfast this morning, uh, or coffee this morning at Einstein's, and it's just a little inexpensive product, but something I never really paid much attention to. It's called Glove Tax, and what it is is a little stick on it, uh, a little tip for your glove. It's right here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it basically, it, it allows you to use like your cell phone or any touch screen uh, using the fingers on your glove. I noticed I did a test this morning. I'd never even tried it before because I don't use my cell phone when I ride. I know a lot of you do, but I tried it with these gloves and I could not get the cell phone to respond at all. I put one of these little things on, these glove tacks, and uh, it's pretty incredible how it works. It, it really does work. So now I'm able to use the touch screen on my cell phone if I need to with my gloves on. And it does even uh, work a little better on the GPS. Now the GPS, uh, my Garmin will work with the gloves without the glove tacks, but it does work better with these glove tacks on. I find it to be a little bit more responsive. So I think they're like $15. You get six of them in a package. I'll put a link. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description of this video. If you're interested in that, they just simply peel off and stick on the tips of your gloves. And I don't know how long they last before they start peeling off the gloves, but they're pretty inexpensive. You know, I figure if they lasted me an entire road trip, I'd be happy. And uh, you get, you know, like I say, you get six of them. They're, they're inexpensive, and they seem to work pretty good. So I think they're kind of cool. And you know, we're coming up on springtime. Riding season is almost here. Uh, it's, before you know it, it's already starting to warm up here in Texas. I'm sure we'll have a few more days of cold weather, but before long, we'll be complaining about the heat. So, this is the time to get your bike in shape, get it ready, get the oil changed, get all your filters changed, get your brake fluids, and, you know, bleed your brakes and new brake pads if you need them, just all the, you know, the whole gamut of stuff. So this is the... March and April are probably the busiest times of the year for my maintenance videos. So if you're going to get your bike ready to ride, you can save yourself a few hundred dollars by not having to go to the dealer to get this stuff done. Do it yourself in your garage with your own tools. Know the job got done right. Check out my maintenance videos. I have two sets. One for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing and a set for the 2018 to 2022 Goldwing. Check them out. And that helps support this channel, just so you know. Now let me tell you what's coming up on Cruise Man's Garage here in the next few days. I will have a review of this new action camera. 
Uh, they reached out to me. They sent me one to test and review. It's about half the price of a GoPro Hero 10. If you're into motor vlogging or if you need an action camera for any reason, I will be testing and reviewing this new action camera soon. I'm in editing right now. I've got comparison side-by-side -side footage so you can see how this camera compares to the GoPro 8 and the GoPro 10. You'll see how it looks in 4K, you'll see how it looks in 1080p, and if you are into motor vlogging and you're looking for a way to save some money, you don't want to spend $500 on a GoPro, uh, I'm going to have a camera review for you that might be of interest to you. So make sure you stay tuned, keep checking the channel, that's why you need to subscribe so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with these videos. The other thing I'm going to have is a review of some new gear from Bon Armor. Now a lot of you have mentioned and noticed I'm wearing this different jacket, this black jacket. It's a riding jacket. This is one of the products I'm going to be reviewing very soon. They also have another piece of riding gear I'll be reviewing as well. So stay tuned to the channel because I will be reviewing this new riding jacket from Bon Armor. And uh, it's got some very, very unique features that I've never seen in any other riding jacket. So you want to make sure you watch that video. That's about it for today. I thank you for joining me today on this ride over to my friend's house. This cloudy, somewhat windy day. We're going to be getting rain tomorrow. If you have any questions or comments about this video, put them in the comment section down below. And don't forget, as always, if you enjoyed this video, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our rankings on YouTube. It helps tremendously. Thanks again for joining me today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.